Hello everyone and welcome to my forestry guide for old school runescape. I do want to start this guide by saying that all of the updates of forestry have not come in in this batch. There's there will be a second batch of updates within about a month. So just understand things like two handed axes and I believe some T's haven't made it into this update. But with that being said, let's get into what did come from this update. So first and foremost, to get started with forestry, what you want to do is go to the friendly forester here. The forestry shop is located here in Drainer Village, but there is also a second forestry shop located in Camelot. And what you need is to buy this forestry kit. It should be free, or I guess 120 coins, but you will not need something that's called Anima Bark, which is something that you actually get doing the activity. So let's go ahead and grab 120 coins and grab the forestry kit. Now that we have some coins on us, let's go ahead and purchase that forestry kit. And the reason we want the forestry kit is you actually need the forestry kit in order to spawn random events that will happen now that you're woodcutting. I should mention that some random events will require specific items. For example, the leprechaun will require a leprechaun charm, but I'll be going over the random events here soon. Other than random events, there were a few changes to woodcutting in general. The first change is that now when you chop a log, there's no chance that the tree will disappear. Instead, now trees disappear on a timer. All the times for each tree will be listed on screen now, and for example, I am chopping willow trees, so 30 seconds after I start chopping or anyone starts chopping, the tree will deplete. In addition to the new chop timers, there has also been a change to how trees work in a group, as the more people that are chopping a single tree, the better, as you get an invisible boost for each person chopping the tree, up to 10 people for a plus 10 invisible boost. This is actually a pretty big change in my opinion, as I'm pretty sure this will speed up woodcutting quite a bit. The invisible boost does not work inside the woodcutting guild, nor does it work on normal trees. Now let's talk about new events with forestry. The first event is the rising roots, and as the name suggests, roots will start rising from the ground. Chop the roots to gain anima bark, and specifically, one of the roots will have a tealish color, which grants more bark and XP. I do apologize as I wasn't playing with Entity Hider, so the roots and the tealish one may be a bit more difficult to see. The next event is the struggling sapling. A sapling will appear with a health bar with a bunch of different types of mulch surrounding it. Your job is to gather the mulch in a specific order to help the sapling grow. The order of the mulch will be different for each struggling sapling that appears, so trying different combinations and seeing which one gives you the best result is the way to go. I should also mention that you can use the same type of mulch multiple times in a combinations. So for example, you could use the rotting leaves twice, and sometimes that type of mulch will give you the best combination, and sometimes the best combination of mulch will require that. At the end of the event, you'll receive a big XP drop if the sapling survives, which ours did not. The next event I'll go over is the flowering tree, in which you'll need bees on a stick to spawn. In order to get bees on a stick, you'll need to buy some pollen from the forestry shop for 300 bark, head over to a beehive with a ball of wool and a normal log, and that will create 10 bees on a stick. The goal of this event is to pollinate the flowers until they bear fruit. During the event, only two flowers can be pollinated, so once you find the two that need to be pollinated, just head back and forth between the flowers until they bear that fruit. Once the event is over, you'll also receive a big XP drop, the bark you received pollinating the flowers, and some seeds from the flowers that bear fruit. I think it is also worth mentioning that you can get some herb seeds from the flowers that bear fruit, so this event's quite good for Ironmen. The final event from this batch of forestry is simply named Leprechaun. You will need a Leprechaun charm to spawn him, which is created from the Clover Insignia, which costs 200 bark from the forestry shop. The Leprechaun is pretty handy if you are doing woodcutting in a remote area, as it allows you to bank your logs just by simply interacting with them. However, as you see in this clip here, if you're already near a bank, the Leprechaun isn't very useful, but the Leprechaun will announce 15 seconds before he leaves, and again when he teleports away. That is pretty much all of the events that you can currently get through Forestry, but if you have noticed, you have been receiving some Anima Bark if you've been participating in these events, which you can spend at the Forestry Shop. The first reward I'm going to go over is the Secretor Blades, which cost 20 Anima Bark, 10 Oak Logs, and 5 Willow Logs. What this will allow you to do is receive more leaves while you're chopping trees. If you haven't noticed, if you've had the Forestry Kit on while you're chopping trees, you have been receiving leaves. As you can see here, I have 20 Normal Leaves, 35 Willow Leaves, 14 New Leaves, and 28 Magic Leaves. These can be used to make teas at a later date, which is probably coming in the second Forestry Batch. 
The next item to go over is the Ritual Mulch, which is a little weird because it costs 150 anima, 10 maple logs, which will give you a nature offering, which I don't even think is permanent. You also need 50 farming and 68 woodcutting, and it just allows you to get double logs while woodcutting. So it works similarly to the Yurt Flakes that you can get from Temporis, except for woodcutting. I don't think this is very good at all, but feel free if you're looking for more logs, maybe for something like construction, then maybe this is useful. The next rewards I'm going to go over are two rewards that go together, which is the log basket and the log brace. The log basket basically works very similar to the fishing barrel does in from Temporis. It allows you to carry more logs as the fishing barrel does. 28 more logs in a single inventory slot. So very, very useful. I think this item is well worth the cost of 5,000 anima infused bark, 300 oak logs and 300 willow logs. Now the log brace does go together with the log basket as the log brace works very similar to I believe it's the fish sack that you can get from the aerial fishing mini game where you can combine the log brace with the log basket and your forestry kit and basically have the log basket on your back. A very nice upgrade to go with the log basket but it should be noted that this has pretty steep requirements as it will require 45 nails, 2 ropes, 3 adamant bars, 75 smithing, and 75 woodcutting. The next item I want to go over is the Closed Pouch Blueprint, which is a whopping 10,000 anima bark, but this one also has a decent use as it'll allow you to store your entire lumberjack set inside your forestry kit. Not only is this extra storage space if you're someone who's running low on bank space, but it'll also keep the XP boost that you get from the lumberjack set if you just keep it in your forestry kit. However, it will not allow you to override it with different set bonuses. For example, you cannot wear Graceful while your Lumberjack set is inside the Forestry Kit or you will not get the Lumberjack bonus. The next items I want to go over in the Forestry Shop is the Lumberjack set. You no longer have to do Temple Trekking in order to get the full Lumberjack set. Though I will say the, with the cost of the Lumberjack set, I would recommend just continue doing Temple Trekking as it seems like the Lumberjack set is quite expensive from here and it takes like 10 minutes to get the full set if you just do Temple Trekking. However, you can upgrade your Lumberjack set into the new Forestry set, which seems to just be a cosmetic upgrade and quite expensive. Uh, yeah, just very cosmetic and quite expensive set here. Don't recommend this as it is just cosmetic. And the last thing is another cosmetic upgrade, which is quite expensive. As you can see here, it is called the funky shaped log. If you do have the beaver pet, you can use this funky shaped log on your beaver to change its color. Now, I do believe there's currently some type of bug in the game or something like that. As you can see here, there's already a person who has the funky shaped log or he doesn't have the funky shaped log, but they're able to already recolor their beavers. It seems like you can currently recolor beavers without having the funky shape log just by having a certain color log in your inventory and the beaver and then use it on each other. I kind of forgot I do already have an account with the beaver pet so if I use maybe the magic logs on the beaver nothing interesting happens. So it seems like they've already patched this but I think on release you were able to use the logs on the beaver so those with a recolor beaver congratulations uh, you'll need a funky shaped log in order to recolor it again. That is pretty much everything that forestry has brought within this first batch of updates. I am personally looking forward to the second batch of updates where there are a lot of really cool updates coming to the game like certain teas and most importantly the two-handed dragon axe or the two handed of any axes which look absolutely amazing. I'll probably show some pictures on screen of the two-handed axes just so you know what to look forward to. And that is pretty much it, like I said, from the forestry with this update. If this guide was helpful to you, make sure you like and subscribe for more content as I will definitely be doing a video on the second batch of forestry updates. And I may even do a video just buying all the rewards and testing them out. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys again very soon. Later.